How are you feeling today? Really, how are you? Life has a way of tossing us into a whirlpool of struggles. Perhaps you're grappling with the relentless grip of chronic pain, or maybe you're wrestling with the chains of addiction, or it could be that you're navigating through the dense fog of grief and loss. But remember, you're not traversing these tumultuous seas alone. Today, we're going to explore a unique way to help you navigate these struggles, a process known as spiritual healing. Spiritual healing is more than just a concept, it's a journey. A journey that involves the healing of the mind, body, and spirit. It's about finding peace within yourself, even in the midst of life's most challenging storms. So whether your battle is with physical pain, emotional turmoil, addiction, or grief, spiritual healing can offer a beacon of hope. Remember, your journey to healing starts with acknowledging your pain. Have you ever wondered about the power of your spirit in healing? Let's dive in and explore the fascinating realm of spiritual healing. Rooted in ancient traditions, spiritual healing is an age-old practice that has been used by various cultures across the globe. It's not tied to a specific religion or belief system, rather it's about tapping into and harnessing the innate healing power of our spirit. Spiritual healing is often misunderstood as a substitute for modern medicine. However, it's more accurately viewed as a complementary approach, working in harmony with traditional medical treatments. It's not about choosing one over the other, but about integrating both for a holistic healing process. At the core of spiritual healing is the understanding that our physical health is intrinsically linked to our emotional and spiritual well-being. When we are physically ill, it's often a manifestation of emotional or spiritual imbalances. By addressing these imbalances, we can promote healing at a deeper level. Now you may wonder, how does spiritual healing work? Well, it operates on the belief that we are more than just physical bodies. We are energetic beings, and our energy can be influenced by our thoughts, emotions, and experiences. Spiritual healing techniques such as meditation, Reiki, and prayer aim to cleanse and balance this energy thereby promoting physical and emotional healing. The effectiveness of spiritual healing is not solely dependent on the healer, but also on the person seeking healing. It involves cultivating a mindset of openness, acceptance, and trust. Believing in the power of your spirit to heal is a vital part of the process. Let's not forget the importance of balance in spiritual healing. Balance between the body, mind, and spirit is crucial in achieving overall well-being. Just as we take care of our bodies through diet and exercise and our minds through learning and stimulation, we must also nurture our spirits through practices that promote inner peace and connection to a greater whole. In essence, spiritual healing is about letting your spirit guide you to wellness. It's about acknowledging and honoring the powerful connection between your physical, emotional, and spiritual self. In the next scenes, we'll delve deeper into how spiritual healing can be applied to specific conditions such as chronic pain and illness addiction recovery, and grief and loss. Stay tuned. Be living with chronic pain or illness. Your spirit may hold the key to relief. Imagine being able to tap into an internal source of healing, one that transcends the physical realm and delves into the spiritual. That's what spiritual healing for chronic pain and illness is all about. It's a journey. A process of harnessing the energy within you to create a balance between your body, mind, and spirit. Let's begin with meditation. It's not just about quieting the mind, but about creating a space where healing can occur. Picture a serene lake, with the sun's gentle rays dancing on its surface. That tranquility, that peace, that's the state of mind you're aiming for. It's in this state of tranquility where you can connect with your inner self and allow your body to begin the healing process. Next, we have energy healing practices which are rooted in the understanding that we are beings of energy. Practices such as Reiki, Qigong, and Pranic healing harness this energy to restore balance and harmony. They work on the principle that when our energy fields are in balance, our bodies are better able to heal themselves. It's like tuning an instrument. When everything is in harmony, the music flows beautifully. Finally, spiritual counseling. It's not about finding someone who can fix you, rather, it's about finding someone who can guide you to discover your own healing potential. A spiritual counselor is a companion on your journey, someone who can help you navigate the sometimes turbulent waters of chronic pain and illness with compassion and understanding. By incorporating these practices into your life, you're not just managing pain, you're actively enhancing your body's capacity for healing. You're creating a space where healing can happen naturally, where your spirit can guide your body towards wellness. And remember, this is not a one-size-fits-all solution. It's a personal journey unique to each individual. 
but the common thread running through this journey is the belief in the innate healing power of the spirit. Remember your spirit has a powerful capacity to heal your body. Struggling with addiction, spiritual healing can be a vital part of your recovery journey. Let's dive into the realm of spiritual healing and its role in overcoming addiction. Addiction, be it to substances or behaviors, often stems from a deep-seated pain or void within us. It's a cycle of seeking temporary relief, only to fall deeper into the abyss with each recurrence. But imagine if we could address this pain or void at its root. That's where spiritual healing steps in. Spiritual healing is about tapping into our deeper selves, our core essence. It's about finding a higher purpose, a reason that transcends our immediate desires and impulses. This higher purpose can be anything that you deeply connect with. It could be a passion for art, a commitment to serve others, or a quest for knowledge. The key is to find something that elevates your spirit, that makes you feel alive and connected to the world in a profound way. This connection can become your guiding light, your beacon in the darkest of storms. Alongside finding a higher purpose, spiritual healing also involves practicing mindfulness. Mindfulness is the ability to be fully present, to live in the here and now, instead of being lost in past regrets or future anxieties. When we are mindful, we can observe our cravings and impulses without being swept away by them. We can notice the urge to fall back into addictive behaviors, acknowledge it, and then let it pass without acting on it. It's like watching a wave rise and fall without being carried away by it. This mindful observation can be a powerful tool in breaking the cycle of addiction. But spiritual healing is not just about combating negative impulses. It's also about fostering positive feelings within us. Feelings of self-love and acceptance. Many of us struggle with feelings of unworthiness or guilt, which can feed into our addictive behaviors. Spiritual healing helps us to cultivate a sense of self-love, to appreciate ourselves for who we are, with all our strengths and weaknesses. It teaches us to accept ourselves unconditionally, to recognize that we are not defined by our mistakes or our addictions. This acceptance can be liberating, it can free us from the chains of self-judgment and pave the way for genuine transformation. Remember, spiritual healing is not a miracle cure, it's a journey, a process, it takes time and patience, it involves ups and downs, victories and setbacks. But every step on this journey brings us closer to our true selves, to a life free from the shackles of addiction. It helps us to find inner peace, to live with integrity and authenticity. With spiritual healing, you can find the strength within to overcome addiction. So take a deep breath, close your eyes, and embark on this journey of healing and transformation. You're not alone. You have the power within you to overcome, to heal, to thrive. Experiencing grief and loss, your spirit can guide you through this difficult time. Grief and loss are universal experiences that touch us all at some point in our lives. They can leave us feeling isolated, broken, and lost. However, spiritual healing offers a path through the darkness, a way to cope and find meaning in the midst of our pain. Spiritual healing begins with acknowledging the pain. It's natural to want to run from the discomfort, to hide from the anguish, but healing requires us to face our suffering head on. This doesn't mean dwelling in the heartache, but rather recognizing it as part of our human experience. It's an essential step, allowing us to move from denial and avoidance towards acceptance and understanding. Next, we turn to seek spiritual guidance. This could come in many forms depending on your spiritual beliefs. It might involve prayer, meditation, or seeking wisdom from spiritual texts. It could also mean seeking support from a spiritual leader or community. The key is to connect with something greater than ourselves, something that provides perspective and meaning. This connection can offer solace, comfort, and a sense of purpose amidst the chaos of grief. Finally, spiritual healing encourages us to find peace within ourselves. This isn't about forgetting our loss or pretending everything is okay. It's about finding a calm within the storm, a sense of tranquility amidst the turmoil. This peace doesn't deny the pain, but it allows us to live with it, to carry it without being crushed by its weight. It's a peace that comes from understanding that grief is not a permanent state, but a journey with ups and downs, a journey that can lead to growth and transformation. Grief and loss are undeniably painful, yet, through spiritual healing they can also become catalysts for profound personal growth and spiritual development. We can learn to navigate these experiences with grace and resilience, to find meaning in the midst of suffering, and to connect deeply with our spiritual selves. 
through spiritual healing, you can find comfort and hope amidst your grief. So, why should you consider spiritual healing, you may ask? It's not just about addressing specific conditions, though it is indeed powerful in that respect. Spiritual healing offers a holistic approach that reaches far beyond the scope of traditional medicine, touching not just the body, but also the mind and the spirit in profound ways. One of the most tangible benefits is the enhancement of physical health. The human body is an intricately interconnected system, and when our spirit is in harmony, it resonates throughout our physical form. This can result in improved immune function, better sleep, and even a reduction in physical pain, especially in cases of chronic conditions. But the benefits of spiritual healing don't stop at the physical. It's also a powerful tool for mental well-being. By addressing the spiritual roots of our emotions, we can alleviate stress, anxiety, and depression, fostering a sense of peace and tranquility. This can be particularly helpful in the face of challenging life events, such as the loss of a loved one or the struggle with addiction. Besides improving our health, spiritual healing also fosters a deeper self-understanding. By exploring our spiritual selves, we uncover hidden dimensions of our personality, our desires, and our fears. Through this process, we can discover our true purpose in life and find the courage to pursue it. Moreover, spiritual healing strengthens our connection with our spiritual self. This connection is the bridge between our earthly existence and our eternal essence. By nurturing this connection, we can tap into a reservoir of wisdom and compassion that can guide us in our daily lives. Let's not forget the specific conditions that spiritual healing can help with, as we've discussed earlier. Chronic pain and illness, addiction recovery and grief and loss, these are all areas where spiritual healing can bring about transformation and healing. Remember, spiritual healing is not a magic cure-all. It's a journey, and like all journeys, it has its challenges. But, with perseverance and faith, the rewards can be immense. Imagine living a life free from the shackles of chronic pain, or breaking free from the chains of addiction. Imagine navigating through the stormy seas of grief and loss, and finding a beacon of hope and peace. Imagine discovering a wellspring of wisdom within you, guiding your every step. This is the promise of spiritual healing. So take a moment to reflect. What areas of your life could benefit from spiritual healing? Is it your physical health, your mental well-being, your self-understanding, or your connection with your spiritual self? Or perhaps it's a specific condition such as chronic pain, addiction, or grief. Whatever it may be, spiritual healing can be a powerful ally on your journey towards wellness. It's about more than just healing. It's about transformation, growth, and ultimately, about becoming the best version of yourself. Embrace spiritual healing and unlock the potential of your spirit for wellness. Are you ready to embark on your spiritual healing journey? With this question, we invite you to step forward into a world where your spirit, your innermost essence, becomes the guiding beacon towards wellness. Spiritual healing is not just about relieving symptoms or curing diseases. It's about restoring harmony, balance, and promoting holistic health. It's about fostering a deep connection between your mind, body, and spirit to alleviate chronic pain, overcome addiction, and heal from grief and loss. It's important to remember that spiritual healing is not a one-size-fits-all solution. It's a personal journey that is unique to every individual. And this journey, while it may not always be smooth, has the potential to lead you to profound transformations. So, we encourage you to explore spiritual healing as an integral part of your wellness journey. It may be through meditation, yoga, energy healing, or any other practice that resonates with you. Keep an open mind, be patient with yourself, and most importantly, listen to your spirit. It knows the way. We also want to remind you to check the description box below. We've curated a list of recommended health products that can support you on your spiritual healing journey. These resources can serve as valuable tools to assist you in tapping into your inner power and facilitating your path towards wellness. If you found value in this video, if it has sparked a curiosity within you or deepened your understanding of spiritual healing, we'd love to hear from you. Please like this video, subscribe to our channel, and share your thoughts, experiences, or questions in the comments section below. Your engagement helps us create content that is meaningful and relevant to you. As we conclude, remember this. Your spirit holds the key to your healing. Embrace it and let it guide you to wellness. This journey is yours to embark upon. Trust in the wisdom of your spirit. To wellness and beyond, we wish you a transformative spiritual healing journey.